we have an update on the MLB lockout and if it might be coming to an end soon. So if you like these types of videos, please subscribe so you stay up to date on all Yankees and MLB news. But let's get into it. If you didn't know, the MLB and the Players Association talked today about the lockout. Now, this is the first time they've done this in months. It's a good step. So let's go over what happened. They met for around one to two hours. It's a little hard to get exact times and knowing exactly what they talked about because a lot of it was behind closed doors. But there's still some information that we know. Now, if you want to just know if baseball is coming back, no. Look, um, <clears throat> MLB made a proposal to the Players Association. And from what I've seen, it appeared to be a pretty bad proposal. Now, certain parts of it we know, like how they were going to increase minor league pay, they were going to increase the minimum salary, and they were going to change the arbitration process a little bit. Now, all of this is great, because the free agent market, it's okay in my mind, it could have some changes, but it's at the lower levels where players are getting, you know, they're, they're getting stolen, some money's getting stolen from them. Minor league players are playing for next to nothing. They're getting, if you don't get a big signing bonus, you're getting pretty much minimum wage. In some circumstances, we've seen players get less. So minor league pay is a big thing in my mind, which needs to be talked about. So it's good that they were talking about that a little. Now, the minimum salary, I think it's fine. It's around half a million right now. It's a lot of money. So... I don't think that's really a big issue. And arbitration. I think this could be one of the harder topics. So this links to service time. When a player is added to your 40-man roster and they play a certain amount of MLB games, it starts a service time clock for how many years they're under team control until free agency. Mike Trout, when he was going through um, arbitration and that stuff, he got a lot less than he would have in the open market because he was under team control. Same thing with Aaron Judge. I think he got $11 million or $7 million, $17 million last year, and he's worth a lot more than that in the open market. So it needs to be fixed. That It's a system that needs to be fixed because the young players are getting nothing until they hit free agency. And when they hit free agency, they're pretty much at their prime so teams only signing them for two years of them being good. So I'm happy to see they discussed that. But it looks like no deal is going to be in place. Jeff Passan tweeted about this. As I said, MLB made a proposal. The reaction among the players was not positive. Few on either side expected it to be. The question is how soon the MLB Players Association counters. Spring, string, spring training starting on time is in peril. So that's the update on the meetings today that MLB and the ML, and MLB Players Association had. Tell me what you think. Tell me what changes you want to see in baseball. Leave all that in the comments below.